Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. All right, so we're really doing this video. All right, so if you don't know what this video is about, it's pretty much just the imbalance of classes and multiverses and what I feel like needs to be fixed or looked at. Um, leave some comments down below uh, when you're watching the video, you know, your thoughts and what you think and your opinion. I would love to hear because it's going to be a long video and kind of everywhere. So I do forgive, you know, what I'm about to say because <laughs> it's going to be everywhere. So hopefully I could, you know, um, follow it through and let's just go straight to the video, guys. So I want to start this off with um, a tweet that I literally started um, literally a week um, after the game pretty much dropped. And I was just talking about some balances that I would love to see in multiverses. And the first one was about the debuffs on all classes. Because if you didn't know, uh, the only debuff in this game was Assassins. And their debuff was Glass Cannon, taking 14% more damage because, quote-unquote, they were the fastest characters in the game, which was false. Um, but, you know, since they removed that, there's no point of talking about it. Uh, but if you do want to look over my ideas that I did have, then by all means, go look at it. But because, you know, Assassins don't have it anymore, there's no point of talking about it. So we're going to move on. Um, but the number one priority that I think that needs to be looked upon in this game is weight classes. I feel like there is no set in stone ro rules to these classes at all. I feel like these roles are just slapped on these characters just to slap on these characters. Um, these were my ideas of weight classes um, that I had. Obviously, we actually have the real numbers now. I'm going to show you right here. These are the real numbers of you know the weight classes of characters. And what they are and this is the lowest which is aria 41 and then the highest is iron giant at 150 and you know this was based off just i think knowledge that i had on i think the heaviest character was superman so it was just based off of that uh, i'm gonna put my true numbers how i feel now right here i don't know them yet i'm gonna you know go through it but right here will be my real numbers um and i just think there needs to be a standard in the class right standard in the class but not a standard on the characters so, for example, um, you know, I think we all could agree that the heaviest characters in the game should be tanks and bruisers. Um, but obviously, certain characters may be heavier just because of their character. For example, um, Garnet. Garnet is a bruiser, but I think she does should take the spot of being one of the heaviest characters because it's Garnet. H have you seen Garnet? <laughs> have you seen her in the show? She's pretty big. Um, so I think she, you know, gets that. Um, weight um in this game which makes sense you know she's the third heaviest character even though she's a bruiser even though tank should be the heaviest i feel like garnet takes that standard of all right you know because of your character you should be up here um another thing would be like shaggy shaggy i think is the sixth heaviest character out of the nine you know bruisers and tanks and it makes sense you know obviously in any real standing point he should be way lower he should be near you know velma the assassins all this stuff but because he you know quote unquote is a meme ultra instinct one percent you know power i'm okay with that at least for me i'm okay it makes sense you know it's oh you know the one percent power thing cool um and then you know just vice versa the only thing that was crazy that was out of pocket and i, I think some of these cl classes can still be looked at but if y'all remember velma <laughs> velma used to be the fifth heaviest character in the game having the kit that she had was absurd it made no sense why she was what i think 70 71 70, 75 or something she was heavy for no reason same thing with shaggy shaggy was a little heavier too but you know they nerfed it i think he's in a solid number area that he should be at but those are just one of the issues that i feel like where my you know weight classes come in um for characters 100 percent. like i said certain characters should bleed in or bleed out of their classes based off of their characters 1000 percent but there needs to be a standard just for like normal characters and i think a lot of these characters are normal like tom and jerry bugs bunny rain dog batman harley oh, oh, they they you know make sense and um in a way that they should just play in their role and not just be outlandish like these other characters um i won't be talking about balances the only balances i'll be talking about is like with recovery ish i want to say and like just based off of their kits why i feel like certain classes need to be looked upon and we're just gonna go straight into it so oh another thing that i talked about is speed again in this game or just not even in this game in classes general in games you know we have bruisers assassins, support tank and mages right 
fastest character that should be on your mind is oh yeah assassins why because they're fast they're quick that's their role they should be the fastest in the game not one of these assassins i even think is, is or, or top six in speed the only one that gets there is finn when he buys speed other than that assassins don't even break top five top six and if you don't believe me let's go look at it actually let's go look at the speed of these characters Batman, Taz, Shaggy, Wonder Woman. I haven't seen one assassin yet. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Finn is the 12th fastest character in the game. And then we have Arya and Harley down here. The only ones that they're faster than is Iron Giant. Makes sense. Superman. If you count uh, wave dashing, you know, the, the dodge jump thingy. Actually isn't. Gizmo. Cool and Morty. Other than that, Arya and Harley are literally the fifth and sixth, fifth and seventh slowest characters of the game. Why? No, I'm lying. Three, third and fifth. Sorry, third and fifth slowest character in this game. Why? They're assassins. Shouldn't assassins be the fastest in the, in the game? And then follow up, I would probably say, what? Maybe supports, right? Make supports to be kind of fast because you know they're supporting and you know getting their teammates and then you know following up with be mages because they surround based off of projectiles and stuff they should kind of be slow because you know they're throwing projectiles so they shouldn't be able to just run away with it forever uh and then after that would be bruisers because you know um or, or between these two it, it depends on these two in my opinion it depends on how how their kit and stuff is you know you know then bruisers should um you know be the the second slowest or Tank should be the slowest, or again, like I said, depending on the character. Like for example, Iron Giant should be slow. Superman should Shun would be slow. But I, like I said, Wonder Woman should bleed into being a little bit faster. Um, probably in the same range of mages, and probably be a little bit faster than them, just because of just her, and just her character. But it doesn't. Um, the fastest characters in the game right now are Bruisers, a tank, Bruisers, a mage. And the support why well it, it kind of just doesn't make sense and on top of that their kits don't make sense for example the reason why you know assassins are assassins is because they do crazy damage don't get me wrong i think harley does amazing damage i think Arya does a decent amount of damage i think she has more crazy knockbacks than a lot finn i think he does a decent amount of damage but then when you have characters like Bugs, that's supposed to be a mage. And I think his kit makes sense, you know. Um, I think I think a lot of these kits make sense, but they just need to be looked at. Is For example, Bugs, you know, he he's crazy on um, projectiles, you know, he's a mage, you know. This is this is his thing. You know, I think I think all his movesets make sense, you know. Cool, big, big hits, you know, to protection for himself, kind of. And it's not like it's comboing and like lingering. It's just one get off me hit, you know. And if you dodge it, then you punish him, you know. Makes sense. Now what doesn't make sense is shout out to Bandman, Super Bandman, the founder of the you know the Bugs combos, is that he found a way to make this mage that's supposed to play you know distance and if someone gets in his face be able to do one heavy move to back them off of them real quick to you know play those projectiles and you know do his stuff is his combo game. Um, Bugs has a combo that he I feel like he just shouldn't have in this game, which is you know fun spin spin spin. I just did it was it was like 36 with three moves but that combo that i just showed you before i hit him with the mallet right here was 36 i just did that in 30 i did 36 damage three button presses on a mage and, and and it was true it wasn't even like i was just doing it over time that was true i i just don't feel like mages should be able to do this for example another one that is crazy is tom and jerry i know a lot of people probably think tom and jerry is useless and stuff because of his hair because it got what more with recovery and stuff if y'all don't know guys tom and jerry's dare knockback is ridiculous it had crazy range it hits from above it's just crazy right also his you know his trash cans cool 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 right that's that's not the real issue the issue is that this character is supposed to be um a mage you know supposed to play from far distance you know you have this crazy kit to keep people away from you you know Oh my god, you know, run around, dodge, and play all that. Cool, right? Now, what is the counter to mages? You get in their face. Now, the counter to bugs is that when he, when he, okay, well, there's no real counter to bugs, you know, real bugs, but if bugs had more whiff recovery on his moves, 
when they miss, you should be able to be able to punish them as a bruiser, as a assassin, and even probably as a tank, right? That that's that's their play. You're supposed to be able to punish them. Now with Tom, if you get in his face, you get punished by him. And what I mean is, is his mallet. This mallet is so big, guys, that you know when um Iron Giant does his cannonball, you know, from the top. This beats this beats this. For the fact that you know his swing and his hitbox is just so big, it beats that. And this is what I mean. Why does a mage? Like, don't get me wrong. He definitely needs something to box up. You know, when people get close to him. Uh, I think the best one I would say is Velma, and even then, I still feel like her hitbox is a little bit big. But like, even though he can't do crazy combos, this is true. I think it's like a five-six hit, right? But it's his hitbox. What? assassin or bruiser is getting in this guy's face with his big mallet swinging and you might say oh just dodge and attack behind him if you didn't know you could swing back and left with this character and there's no whiff recovery until the last hit how are you punishing this character that that's just swinging look how fast i could just swing twice and just dodge so I don't have to complete the combo to get people off me. How are you getting in here with an assassin? How are you getting in here with a bruiser? Unless I do the full combo, then there's a whiff. Then there's a time to punish me. If I'm just swinging like this, how are you getting in front of me? And I know some of y'all probably saying, "Oh, you're burning dodge meter." You think I'm really just gonna sit here and do this all the time? It's when you get close to me is I'm gonna do this. That's what I mean. He's a he's a mage. He has a crazy kit. You know, that's supposed to, you know, zone people out. And then he has a crazy jab, where it's just like, if you come and touch me, I'm going to punish you. And I don't think characters like this should have this. I just think this is some stuff that needs to just be looked at or, you know, something. And on top of that, if you didn't know, Tom and Jerry <laughs> is the sixth, right? Six? Yeah, he's the sixth fastest character in the game. And not only that he's a crazy zoning, you know, mage um, kit, he has a great boxing kit that blocks you from getting in front of him. And if he needs to, he can run! He's the sixth fastest character in the game! But he's just a mage. Why play an assassin or a bruiser when I could just play zone and if you get to me, I punish you and if I need to run, I can run. This is what I mean by some some of these classes just don't make any sense. For example, Wonder Woman. Shorty is fast for a tank, right? And I'm fine with her being fast, you know. I'm I'm actually fine with her because she's actually not that heavy, all the stuff. But then when you go to her kit on fighting, she's she's one she has one of the best like edge guards of the game. Well I just showed you that that neutral attack, this is true. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, she doesn't do crazy damage and stuff. I think people need to realize that you don't really need to do damage in this game. As long as you have the advantage of getting someone off stage, you could kill them pretty easy downwards off the stage right here. And, you know, she has some great follow-ups just like Batman and stuff. You've seen like people like Key Wonder and the Cat and them. They know how to play this character. And I'm not saying this character isn't honest. Don't get me wrong. I think she's really honest. There are certain moves, you know, out, like that move and like certain other moves that I feel like need to be looked at. But I think, you know, she's a fair character. What does, What's not fair about, you know, this character is, you know, certain her combos. Why am I allowed to triple, you know, neutral attack somebody off stage? This is true. Everybody's saying, oh, 15 damage, that's not a lot. But now you're off stage. Now you're at a disadvantage. Now, remember, this is twos. Game of twos. I have a teammate. You know, any teammate become dag you down or, you know, keep hitting you off stage like this. Have to use all your options. You're dead. You've been put into a disadvantage because I hit you one time. Because this is true. There's just certain things on certain characters that make sense. Like, for example, Batman. I mean, not Batman. Superman. Superman's another one. You know, he's slow. But if I, you know, <laughs> do the wave dash... And do this, if you didn't notice, he kind of does a nice little dash, um, you know, speed here. That gives him crazy speed. What, you could get across the map with two dashes? Yeah, pretty much two dodges. And if I, you know, was able to do it faster, you know, I would do it faster, but, you know, I still need to practice that myself. But, yeah, you, you get around pretty fast for, for a character that's supposed to be the second slowest character in the game. 
Um, and then, you know, he has the health, and then let's not forget he has the damage. Now, don't get me wrong, like, stuff like that, you know, it's harder to hit because, you know, you have to charge it and stuff. But, um, you know, he has the armor and stuff. Um, but yeah, same thing with, with Superman. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but I can do stuff like this. I just killed him at 40. As a tank. And don't get me wrong, it's Superman, you know. I, again, again, it's his kit. It kind of makes sense. But there needs to be a way to, um, I don't know counter it a little bit easier have you seen players like oops tier dante stanley you know evil one read i'm talking about one read when you're off stage like that i grab you i know you're gonna go down so i just go like this it, it, it's just like why play these other characters when i can just do stuff like that you know like people might say damage and this and damage that you don't need to do damage if i'm Killing you at 40 as you just saw me do with Shaggy. Don't get me wrong, it's a bot and you know he just dodges straight up, but you know, when people get that one read of like, oh you're gonna jump over me, alright, I'm just gonna jump up and punch you, or oh, I'm gonna jump up and grab you, oh you're gonna go down, jump down, you know? And I'm not like I said, I'm not even trying to talk about like their, their balancing and stuff, but it's just these cat characters, you know, they because how they're made, uh, with their weights and speed, it just doesn't make sense. Like for example, Velma. I got I don't remember if I said it or not, but Velma was a, uh, <laughs> her kit herself was just ridiculous. And I say ridiculous, she was just ridiculous. Why? I don't know. Oh, Velma, where is Velma? Velma is another one that's kind of crazy to me a little bit. I mean, not that crazy. But she's a little bit more balanced, but at the same time, not really. She's another one like Tom and Cherry. Um, you know, I just feel like these words are kind of big. It's just a little big, you know. Um, this is a lingering hitbox. Look how fast I'm attacking. Um, it actually hits from the side pretty easily. Okay, buddy, you don't have to, like, walk into me. Okay, maybe I'm lying to you. Oh, maybe I'm lying to you. Oh, maybe I am lying to you. Oh, okay. So, like, see, it kind of, kind of different, 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 um, you know, how close you are, how far you are. But, um, hitbox is very lingering. Um, I could pull down and stuff, do stuff like this. Um, like I said, air hole kit, projectiles. You know, slowing you down, throwing a book, big hit boxes. She's a support character. But, like I said, even though she doesn't have crazy boxing, like, you know, assassins or bruisers that could do cool combos, what does that matter if I could just stop you from even doing it, you know? I'm not saying that it shouldn't be, you know, impossible for these characters to box. Don't get me wrong. But... If they're gonna have jabbing like this, then their kit has to be a little bit on the weaker side, you know, like, like, th like, example, this, this, this needs to be looked at. Um, if you didn't know, when it goes to your, your teammate, it never tacticates, it does even more damage, I think it's like 20. If I do it by myself, I think it does 15. This move is pretty brutal, it comes back pretty fast. Uh, this move used to be brutal too, my lord. Oh! Another thing, you know, again, it's a support character, you know, it's just, it should be supporting its teammate. It shouldn't have crazy combos, right? This combo did get nerfed, but it's still kind of here. And then there's stuff like this that she could do, you know, a combo. I just did 40 damage. And as, as you can see, it is kind of, you know, not true. You can get out of it. But, you know, when you're going into twos or online and multiverses, kind of, it, it makes it true. It, even when you're spamming dodge, you just can't dodge it for some reason. Um, it makes it true. Um, on land, it's a little bit easier to get out of, but again, you are playing twos, you know, the main game mode, and, you know, their teammates hitting you also, keeps the combo even more true. So I just did 40 damage as a support character, um, very easily. Uh, I just think that these knockbacks or just how you're able to get out of movesets on these characters should just be a little bit different. Just for the fact that I could literally disrupt with moves like this, stuff like this. I have big, you know, hitboxes that I could just throw out, this lingering hitboxes. You know, I don't, I don't mind, you know, them having these one big hit moves and then, you know, be able to be punished if they do miss it. 
is the fact that they also have the combo, they also have the jab, they also have, you know, that, they also have the wit. It's just like, they have everything. It's like, why would I play any other characters than these characters? Like, if you don't know, Velma is a top character, you know? First time you ever hearing about Velma in a fighter, you're not thinking she's gonna be a top character. You think she's like probably like be a little mean character or, or like decent. Now don't get me wrong, I'm happy that you know she's not useless one thousand percent. But this character, even with the nurse, she's still busted. Just for for the fact of how fast she, she could just do everything, you know. There's no really punishment on this character. She's a zoner that could fully run away and I guess I think what, the seventh? Eighth fastest character? Let me just go do a quick thingy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Ne nearly almost top 10. Well, no, she is top 10. She's tied with Jake, so she's top 10. She's she's the 10th fastest character in the game, which, again, I don't think it's too bad. But for the fact that every other character, you know, you know, like the other assassins and some of the bruisers. Well, no, bruisers make sense, but you know, other assassins are slower than her. Why? Why can this character be able to run away from me? box better than me and could zone me out it just doesn't make sense to me. and also don't forget that she has a book that um makes her be able to spam her um <laughs> her cooldowns even more you know with the whole you know stuff so it's like i don't know i just feel like these characters need to be looked at a little bit more um especially their classes it just doesn't make sense to me um that's pretty much all my ranting i want to say uh, i could do more but you know i just wanted to get my idea across and just want to hear actually y'all opinions about you know these classes and stuff do you feel like this is fine do you feel like characters shouldn't be tied to their roles do you think they should just get rid of roles and um overall because i think if they're going to keep going with this route i think they should just get rid of roles entirely and try to think of something else because these roles are it means nothing to be to be honest it, it does it does nothing like i don't see the point of these roles if they're just going to do whatever they feel like for these characters um but yeah that's just my opinion on um some changes that needs to be done in multiverses for their classes um leave a like if you like the video comment by anything you know i love y'all comments um and also i'm gonna have all these um these this um uh, what is it the doc the doc sheet yeah so you could go through it yourself um they also have raw data for attack moves and all that stuff hit recovery with frame with frame data all that stuff even the projectiles all that stuff is gonna be in the video uh, I mean, in the description um, with the links. But yeah, and it's your first time you're watching one of my videos and you do enjoy multiverse content and the channel for you guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find out.